The other thing I hear a lot from kids is, you know, is this deal. Like, oh, dude, Dr. Duffy, you know what the deal is? You know, you're barking up the wrong tree. Nothing's going to change because I'm lazy, man. I'm a lazy guy. It's just how it is. You know what I mean? Some of us are lazy. It's just our, our makeup. You know what I'm saying? And every once in a while, you get a parent who's like, oh, yeah, he's lazy. It's weird. He's lazy. He likes to just sit in front of the TV and plays video games. He's a lazy kid. You know, and somehow like the whole family system can find solace in the laziness. You know, it's like, yeah, it's just a thing. You know, his uncle's a drunk. He's lazy, you know. <laughs> um, and and there, there's a book that I read a couple years ago called The Myth of Laziness. And it's a good book, but the truth is you don't have to read beyond the cover because the cover says it all. There is no laziness. It's not a thing we are. There is, you know, there's a book of psych diagnoses this thick. Laziness ain't in there, you know. So... Laziness isn't a thing. It's something we do, and we do it out of fear. It's kind of like staying out of the game. It's kind of like, well, I could have gotten a D in math, man, but I'm lazy, dude. So, you know, so I flunked it. You know, what are you going to do? Um, but even the lazy kid wants to do well. And I learned that lesson, to be honest, the very hardest way from a client of mine. So I worked with this guy through junior and senior year in high school. And his goal, his stated goal, was... Um, he's kind of cocky and really smart and he knew it. He's like, Duffy, here's the deal. D's straight through and I'm going to kick ass on the ACT and I bet I get into college. So he ends up with a 1.01 GPA and he was disappointed in the 01 because he overachieved. He wanted that straight D all the way across the board. All the way from freshman year. So he has a D average. And then he applies to schools. He does get a 33 on the ACT. Oh. If you're not familiar with that, wow. genius, like unbelievable, off the charts, brilliant. Um, so, so far, his prognosticating is perfect. He gets into a school. I won't name the school, but he gets into a school. Um, and he goes away for his freshman year in school. And so I'm thinking, yeah, that guy has just about dispelled every myth I've carried since I've worked with teenagers, you know? Damn. Uh, and right before he goes back for his freshman year, um, I, get a, I get a call from this guy, and he's like, can I come in and talk to you for an hour? And I'm like, yeah, that's always fun. Come on in. I want to hear about it. Plus, you know, you're the big success story. You're the big man who got the Ds and got into college, you know? And he comes in, and he kind of calls me on the carpet. And he says, why would you let me get away with it? You know? And I'm like, well, what do you mean? You're in college and everything. And he goes, well, I'm failing in college. I'm doing terribly. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't have any study habits. I don't have any confidence. I'm, you know, I'm partying too much. I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm like, well, what did you want me to do? You told me you wanted to get straight, straight D's and you got your straight D's. And he said, and you said you were a lazy guy and this was your goal. He said, I wasn't lazy. I was scared. I was afraid that I couldn't do it. You know, like, why didn't you see that? And he convinced me, like, there is no such thing as laziness. There's only fear, and that's what, that's what laziness looks like, you know? So he was, he was a frightened guy, and I think that's true for any lazy kid, is it's really based in fear. So if your kid says they're lazy, it might be what they do, but it's not who they are, you know? So don't buy it.